Hello friends, Natasha Dean here and very excited to chat with you about the five questions I most get asked about my YA novel um, in the key of Naragani, which is... So probably the most popular question I'm asked, or the number one question, is how much of Nera is based on you uh, as a person? And the answer is lots, and yet really nothing at all. So I took different experiences from my growing up. So uh, Nira and I both share having to explain to people that it's Guyana, which is in South America, not Ghana, which is in Africa, um, that we don't speak a different language, but yeah, we kind of do because we're Creole. Uh, so in those instances, she's much like me, but in a lot of ways, she's not. Uh, I feel like she's less argumentative with her parents. Um, she's less brave with her friends. She's less understanding at times um, about them and, and really about herself. So that's kind of the cool thing with being a writer, right? Like you get to take all these experiences that you live and sort of pluck them out and, and use them as handholds and go, okay, yeah, this is what I'm going to use. This is what I'm going to use. This is what I'm going to use. But then at the same time, you look out into the world and you look at other people and you go, oh yeah, okay, I'm going to use this part and this part and this part uh, from all these different people and I come together and I'm going to make this one character. So a related question is about grandma because she is quite a favorite character and people want to know uh, were my grandmothers like that and the answer is yes they are were one of them passed um, super sassy ladies who were just breathtakingly brilliant and brave and strong and both my grandmothers have a grade 3 education and it just never stop them from getting what they wanted and living the life that they wanted and so <laughs> do I play any instruments so growing up uh, piano I definitely play piano uh, in junior high I flirted with the trumpet but if any of you other actually play the trumpet or any kind of a brass instrument uh, you know that what it means is you have to have really strong lip muscles, like right here to hit those high notes, because it's all about how tight you can squeeze your mouth to get the air through. And uh, no, <laughs> that was not me. So Nira's, all of Nira's um, sort of instrumental knowledge and trumpet playing knowledge was actually, uh, and I owe a huge debt of gratitude to a friend of mine, Stephen Fong, who's a professional uh, trumpet player, who I would text along and be like, could this happen? Would she would she sing this with this? Like, you know, with this, could, could Georgia do this? Is this, you know? And he'd be like, yes, no, what? What are you, what are you asking me here? Um, so no, uh, trumpet a little bit, clarinet a little bit, pop, piano. Um, I am quite the virtuoso with the puppy drums, which is when you go up to your dog and you rub their ribs and you kind of pat their ribs and it makes that soft little thump 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 sound. And they're like, yeah, I love like this. Uh, and the kitty xylophones where you like rub their spine, like you go ding, 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 ding. And they're just, they just start purring because they're like, oh yeah. So those two instruments, I am very good at uh, everything else in lesser degrees lesser degrees. Um, because Nira is inspired by um, my growing up and my family's uh, history and experience in Canada, one of the questions that a lot of writers actually really ask, and, and readers as well, is how does your family feel about this? Because you're, you're t you know, to a certain extent you're talking about them, right? And you're talking about things that happened. And um, they're, they're pretty cool with it. Like, the the barbecue scene, you know, where um, mom is outside and she's really mad at dad and she can't light the barbecue, so she just keeps adding lighter fluid. Um, and it still won't light, so she just keeps adding more lighter fluid. And they have this whole discussion. Uh, that, that was definitely, like, not verbatim, but very, very close to an argument my mom and dad had because my dad wanted to save up and my mom was like, ah. Eh. There's a bunch of work. And by the way, uh, in terms of 
my family feeling how I wrote about it and, and Nira being based on my family history, most definitely T factors into everything. And as a kid, you know how big your problem is by how much um, milk and sugar your elders will put into the cup of tea that they give you. So if it's not a big problem, it's like regular milk and I don't know, maybe a spoon of sugar. And if it's a really big problem, then you'll get like two. And if it's really, really big, then it's two and a half. And two and a half is like, this is giant and you hardly ever got it. So there you go. Tea, tea for everything. Tea solves every problem according to my very Guyanese family. So the last question is, uh, will there be a sequel to Nira? Are, are there other stories? And um, for those of you who are writers, you will know this, that your characters always live on. They're always having these adventures and they're going through all these different things. So for me, Nira is this continuing story where, um, you know, I'm with her through university. I'm with her after university. I'm with Farah as things unfold in the house. And how does that shape and change with the family? How does the family you know, sort of go on in their lives. Uh, but I don't have anything set yet, but that door is definitely, that door is definitely open because I really, really enjoyed sharing this story, writing this story. I love every one of these characters. Um, they were so much fun and the chance to be able to go back and visit them is definitely one that, uh, that's an opportunity I would take. So there you have it. Those are the five questions I get asked. Uh, I am looking forward to meeting you when I do school visits and library visits. And please, please, if you have extra questions you want to ask about Nira, by all means, come come up and tell me and we will we will chat probably over a cup of tea.